Hello travelers, welcome to my channel. Huntington Beach, affectionately called HB, is also widely known by the name of Surf City, USA. Just to be clear, there are four cities called themselves Surf City. Huntington Beach, Santa Cruz, Surf City, North Carolina, and Surf City, New Jersey. HB is worthy of the Surf City slogan for two reasons. One, it offers 10 miles of sandy beaches that runs along the Pacific Coast Highway that attracts more than 8 million annual visitors. And two, HB offers some of the most consistent breaks in Southern California, which it holds more than 50 serving contests each year, including the legendary US Open of Surfing. In addition, HB is home to the International Surfing Museum, Surfers Hall of Fame, and Surfing Walk of Fame. In this video, I present the 5 best beaches of HB that make it famous. But make no mistake that only surfers can benefit from the beach. Absolutely not. The beaches are perfect for the family and there are many family activities on or near HB Pier. Your dogs are even welcome here as well. I will also show you where is the best place to stay on a vacation in this city. Watch the full video to see firsthand what a great vacation destination is Huntington Beach. This video will not be a walkthrough video since there are a lot you can watch on YouTube. Let's get started. Number 5. Huntington Dog Beach As I mentioned earlier, HB is so inviting that even your pets has a beach. The dog beach is situated at the northern end of HB City Beach. The area where dogs are permitted at the beach is located between C Point Street and 21st Street. Beyond this point, no dogs are permitted. This beach is considered off-leash by locals, but there are signs that indicate that the city ordinance requires a 6-foot leash. But only unruly and dangerous dogs will be sighted. If you want to unwind and see the dogs enjoy the beach, then you can do it on the bluff. It has a grass space with benches to sit on and picnic tables that you can use. On the Patriot Point, there is a lovely view of an American flag flying in the wind under the blue sky. There are benches around as well. It is quite a beautiful sight. Number 4. Huntington State Beach Huntington State Beach is a two-mile sandy beach that starts from the Santa Ana River Channel and runs north to Beach Boulevard. I know this beach really well because this is one of our stops when we go cycling, riding on the Santa Ana River Trail bike path or what we commonly call SART in short. The state beach has valuable courts, picnic tables, fire pits, outdoor showers to wash off after enjoying the ocean, and a lot of restrooms. State Beach has a huge continuous parking lot along its entire length on Pacific Coast Highway. It also has four entrances to enter the beach area, Beach Boulevard, Newland Street, Magnolia Street, and Brookhurst Street. This is a day-use only beach, no camping allowed. Number 3. Bolsa Chica State Beach Bolsa Chica State Beach is three miles of uninterrupted coast from Seapoint Avenue to Warner Avenue along the Pacific Coast Highway. It is a very popular beach drawing hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. This beach was once called Tin Can Beach and became a state beach in 1960. Bolsa Chica provides the perfect playground for veterans and first-time surfers. There are also volleyball and basketball courts for beachgoers to enjoy as well. There is a bike path that runs from Huntington State Beach to the end of Bolsa Chica Beach. For a perfect picnic day at the beach, there are picnic ramadas and barbecue grills. And at nighttime, you can enjoy a beach bonfire. However, it's first come, first served because there are only 200 bonfire pits available from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Although camping in tent is not allowed, camping in RV is, but you should book in advance via Reserve America. If you have not brought food with you, no problem. There are two places where you can buy food inside the beach. Sea Salt Beachside Burgers offers breakfast burritos, chicken dishes, 
and of course, burgers and hot dogs. While Sea Legs at the beach offers tacos and nachos on top of what Sea Salt is offering. Sea Legs has many chairs and tables to enjoy your meal. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is the first time you have discovered my channel and you are not a subscriber yet, consider subscribing. This channel introduces you to the beautiful places that this world has to offer. Thank you very much for your support. Now back to the topic. Number 2. Sunset Beach Sunset Beach, or as often referred to as Sunset County Beach, is a broad sandy public beach in California's charming Sunset Beach community. Extending only 1.5 miles from Anderson Street to Warner Avenue, here you can see these beautiful beachfront homes that we all desire but can't afford because of the price. But that's why it's called a dream, right? On a windy day, expert kiteboarders will zigzag around in the surf. On sunny days, sunbathers enjoy this beach which is quieter than the other HB beaches. If you want a quieter moment in your beach day, this is the place for you. Although parking is not a lot, along the public grass park, a parking strip can be found between North and South Pacific Avenues behind the beachfront homes. There are also public restrooms, outdoor showers, and playground around the community. But please be mindful, no alcohol, glass, dogs, smoking, or tent camping allowed on this beach. Number 1. City Beach The pristine coastline of 3.5 miles is the center of a long stretch of sandy waterfront for the city of Huntington Beach. This huge beachfront asset is where the open of surfing are held each year that draws professional surfers and thousands of people to this beach. This leads to the trademark name Surf City USA for Huntington Beach. It is the busiest of all HB beaches and is in the heart of the city. Although surfing is wildly popular, the beach itself features beach volleyball courts, fire rings for beach bonfires, a lot of restrooms with outdoor showers to wash off, water sports equipment rentals, and information kiosk. If you need a break from the sands and sea, you can rent a bike at multiple locations. You can rent a cruiser, tandem, chopper, to Suri bikes and even e-bikes. Once you have the bike, you can cruise along the 10-mile bike path. If you ever get hungry, City Beach is close to the various restaurants and bars. If you are looking for a quick bite, you can have some from Naogles Tacos and Burgers or Kokomo Surfside Grill. The store has a beautiful mosaic wall, a place to see in itself even if you don't want to buy food. However, if you want a sit-down lunch or dinner, then you can choose between Sandy's Beach Shack and Duke's Huntington Beach. At the northern end of the beach is a kids' playground where children can burn their extra energy while parents can sit on the benches on the bluff. If you want to stay longer to enjoy City Beach, you got two options. RV camping is one of the options and two, you can stay at some of the best resorts in Huntington Beach. Right along the Pacific Coast Highway, you can book your stay at some of the best resorts like Pasea Hotel and Spa where you can enjoy the outdoor skating rink this holiday season, the Waterfront Beach Resort of Hilton and Hyatt Regency. These resorts have the best view of City Beach, especially if your room has an oceanfront view. We stayed once at Waterfront Beach Resort and our room was overlooking the ocean and it was the best view to wake up to. If you are staying at Hyatt Regency, it is more convenient to go to the beach because it has a bridge from their resort to the beach. You do not need to cross PCH. In the middle of City Beach lies the famous Huntington Pier. 
The pier is the walkway above the Pacific Ocean. It is a great place for watching people sunbathing, swimming, surfing, and you have a spectacular vantage point to catch a sunset. It is also an ideal place for watching the summer games such as volleyball and US Open of surfing. The pier has a lot of benches, a couple view scopes, and three shops which you can buy some souvenirs and trinkets plus a public restroom. At the end of the pier is this emblematic and beautiful structure that was the restaurant Ruby's Diner, but closed permanently early this year. I used to eat at Ruby's while I fish on the pier. Talking about fishing, it is the most popular activity on the pier next to walking. Almost daily, you can see anglers with their chairs, buckets, rods and reels waiting for a nibble. The common catches here are mackerel and sardines. The area before you enter the pier is part of Main Street, where beachgoer density is highest on any given day. There are a lot to do on this small area. Right now, there's even an outdoor skating rink for kids and family. Or, you can simply chill out and enjoy a concert at the amphitheater. If you want more information about the beaches of Long Beach, California, click on the thumbnail. Until next time, travelers, bye for now.